Okay, here with Dundalk head coach Vinnie Perth after tonight. Saw Mandro with Carabag here at Oro Park. Uh, Vin, we talked about their Champions League pedigree, and you know they showed that first half. Great comeback second half, though, and we're still very much in this tie. Yeah, I thought second half we really showed our, showed our character. Ultimately, we're disappointed in the first half, and it's a real, uh, real sign of the quality of player and, and what we have in this group. I thought. Um, you know, we're lucky not to win that time. We're actually disappointed we haven't won that game, should I say. So um, ultimately, there's a bit of disappointment there. But we're still in the tie. We go to Carabag with a real chance and a real belief that we can we can do something. But we're going to have to be pragmatic. We're going to have to be composed. We're going to have to stop um, stop them playing. But that's difficult. And we're operating with, against a club who are just, above, just below the really highest level of European football. So uh, we're going to have to dig in. But... The players showed that tonight. We fixed a couple of things at halftime, and second half I thought they were they were outstanding. Yeah, terrific performance after the break. What was the message at halftime? Uh, uh, listen, uh, when I say we fixed, nuances. yeah, without without uh, saying we fixed stuff. So I'm not, I'm not trying to say all the staff or coaching gurus. It was simple enough stuff. It was also filling the players with a bit of belief. We're still in the toy. They can they can create chances. They they just had to believe in themselves a little bit more. Um, I thought the crowd played a, a massive part tonight. It was one. Of, it was a very special night in Oriel. The, the last five ten minutes was outstanding and um, really gave us a huge lift. Look, ultimately we're disappointed. We haven't won tactically. We sorted a few bits and pieces out of half time. Nothing major. And then the players just showed a bit more belief and, and they went and, and done their stuff on the pitch. Yeah. Um, as you said, the, the, it sort of built to a crescendo. The game went on. Pat's goal with just over ten minutes to go, and then the last ten minutes we were. Very much on top, and um, you know, said nearly won it, but it was great atmosphere in here, and as you say, one of those special nights. Yeah, it was a special night. Um, I have to say, I've been here as I say many times, six, seven years, and this this is one of the more memorable nights I, I have. Obviously, we won leagues here and had trophies and that, but this was, was something different in the last ten minutes, and the players responded to what the what the fans gave them, and um, I think. You know, we should have taken one or two of them chances at the end. It's tinged with disappointment, but as I said, one big goal changes this tie uh, from us, and two big goals makes it makes it changes even more. So, but we've got to be disciplined, and we've got to learn from our mistakes tonight. You can't concede from a set piece, but um, to be fair, I thought the players ultimately deserve huge credit for what they've done tonight. Brilliant. Um, you said over the six, seven years, we've produced many a big away performance in Europe, and for all the analysis and preparation that you guys do behind the scenes. You learn a lot more from actually playing out against the team. So I'm sure you've taken enough from tonight to know where we can hurt them over there next week. Yeah, I think um, we, we felt there was chances in, in them, but we also felt they were going to be a very dominant team and have a lot of the ball. I think it's played out that way. We've spoken, we spoken openly about that was the way the game was going to play out. But um, listen, we need someone we need someone to step up to the plate and make a big moment. And But we've got big players in that dressing room, we've got big characters. And your McElhenney, Duffy, Hoob, and they won't be found wanting. They'll, they'll, you know, if, they, if, if the moment comes for them, I'm confident they can take it, and um, we just need to create that big moment. Yeah, um, great night here. Um, obviously, the reason we're in the Champions League because the league backs the bread and butter on Saturday. And important business to take care of at Richmond Park. Yeah, we just spoke to the players after the game and said, if you want these special nights, if you want them again, you've got to win the league. We've got to refocus now ahead of St. Pat's, and um, we've had a, an amazing support up there the last time we played, and our, our away support has been excellent over the last sort of number of months. And we're going to need them again because we're going to have to go to the well on Saturday. And, and get a big performance before we, we head off to Azerbaijan. So, um, listen, this, this is what you want. You know, you can play your, your matches that don't mean a lot. This is what we want. We want to be involved in these big games, and Saturday's just another one of them. Listen, well played tonight. All the best Saturday and next week. All right, thank you.